This is a bakuda, which is another crassid. So it's actually related to the piranhas. But you'll see it's an entirely different shaped fish. It looks like a torpedo. Actually it looks very much like what we see in the marine, in the coral reefs is like barracuda. This is an Amazonian barracuda, shaped like a torpedo, lightning fast. You can see how it's, uh, its nose mouth tapers straight down to like a torpedo shape. Fusiform, we call that a fusiform shape, and it can generate really fast speeds. Hit my lure like lightning. It was amazing, actually. And it missed the lure, and I actually snagged it in the tail. But the amazing thing is these are actually related to piranha, but you'll see the jaws are in entirely different shape. Really long jaws, very narrow, and very, very tiny teeth. So this is relevant to mega piranha? This is a relate. This is a oh, this is a, a relative of mega piranha and the piranhas that we've been catching. So it would be really interesting to uh, estimate bite forces on these guys. We expect them to be much weaker than we see in the piranha. Uh, we really don't know how this guy feeds. We know he feeds by really ram ramming into their prey really fast speeds, um, but we know very little about this species. Nobody's actually ever documented how this species actually feeds. So. Um, and to be able to generate some bite forces on it will be really telling about how that whole group of piranhas and pakus actually evolved in this in the Amazon. Really amazing species. Justin, you are winning the lottery today. What is this? You know, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not, or sometimes you're just good. This is your third fish today? This is the third, uh, well, yeah, third different species, yeah. Can you make a sentence out of it? This is, my... this is actually my third species today. Uh, this is the set, uh, Second crassid or piranha-like fish I've caught, um, but uh, really a fascinating specimen. The fact that this is what we call convergent evolution. So this is shaped almost exactly like we would see a barracuda on the coral reefs. And they're using basically the same strategy, um, using lightning fast locomotion, swimming speeds to overtake their prey, ram into them and, and, and bite them and swallow them whole. So we want to get this back and try to get some bite force measurements from it.